Thank you. I realized that you weren't too pleased when I left you this afternoon. You hadn't even looked at one of those books I gave you one, Midwives, and yet you had the nerve to run to John and ask him to convince me to have our baby in a cold, sterile hospital bed. You were acting as if John is a stranger. John is not my husband. This was a private discussion. Your husband doesn't want you to give birth in a place where the most sterile solution available is an herbal tea. So you dump me in John's lap and run for the hills? Home birth is completely foreign to me. All of this is new to me. I just want things to go right, that's all. Quite frankly, I'm scared. I'm scared, too. Because we've always trusted each other enough to work things out together, but today, that all seemed to fall apart. You know, it's bad enough that I'm worried sick about Ryan and whatever the hell is going on with Vicky, but when my own husband doesn't trust or respect me enough to even consider my opinion... Ricky, okay, so I did things backwards. So what do you want me to do? Clean the erasers, write on the blackboard a hundred times, I will trust Frankie, I will trust Frankie. Tell me, what? Stop this! Now, raising a child can either cement a marriage or break it apart. What's it going to be for us? Why? Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I found you. Oh. How did you know I needed you? Yeah. How did you find me? Yeah. I do all right. Is everything okay? No, no. Yeah. And you, my little partner. Oh, oh how you doing? Oh, God, I missed you both so much. Oh. I tried to reach you. I know. I know. I was hoping that you'd call back. I was, I was waiting for you. I couldn't. Grant wouldn't let me. That's why I had to get out of there. I just, I just took Stephen and I just walked out of there. Yeah, well, you've got one smart mommy, don't you, Stephen? <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> to tell him. I think you would like to be alone. Um, yeah, that would be nice. There's a small room to the back. Um, the boy can sleep. I will be engaged. Right, but, but we definitely don't want to miss our train. Oh, uh, the, the, I'm afraid there was an accident not far from here. The train won't be coming through until morning. Um, okay, why don't, why don't you get Stephen settled? Okay. Hey. You sound like we have another adventure ahead of us. <laughs> you, me, and Ryan, how does that sound to you? Pretty good? <laughs> okay. Stephen a lullaby in German. <laughs> Someone must have been watching over us. I mean, it must have been. I think so, too. At least that's what I've been asking for. I got here, and just hearing your voice on the machine, you know, it made me feel like anything was possible. And then, here you are. <laughs> How? I got your letter. I had to come. Wait a minute, you couldn't have. Grant just sent it. A little modern miracle called a fax. What did you think? It's okay. It... No, it wasn't true. I mean, not, not one word of it was true, See, Ryan. See, but I thought... I thought it was real. I thought that you were trying to say goodbye. Well, you see, I thought that I'd be home before you got that it's letter, okay. and I... It's all right, Vic. I, I knew that you were in trouble. I, I don't know how. I just felt it. Ryan, I didn't write that letter for you. I wrote it for Grant. Did Grant make you write that letter? I just... I had to do 
Whatever I could do to make him believe all the things that he wanted to believe so that I could get out of there. It was really bad. I mean, you don't even... You can't believe some of the things that Grant did. What, did he try and hurt you? No, no, I mean... In a lot of ways, it was worse. You know, I was in this beautiful place. But it was like a prison, and I was absolutely a prisoner. I mean, there were bolts on the doors. If you even tried to walk out the front door, a big wait, 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 alarm wait, wait, would go off. And... What, did he lock you up or something? Well, I mean, I was supposed to be getting better. You know, the best doctors, the best care, no one to bother us, away from everything. And away from me. <sighs> well, he brought my mother and Stephen. You know, that was supposed to be everything I wanted. He kept bringing me all these fancy dinners and presents and telling me how much he loved me. But his eyes were like stone. And his hands were so cold. But he, but he told me I was supposed to rest and mend and, and relax and take my pills. Wait, pills? What kind of pills? I don't know what they were. He said they were a prescription, but I don't know. The point is, he kept pushing them on me. And when I did take them, I mean, yes, I... I mean, I felt happy, but it, it was like this far away happy and it, it definitely wasn't right none of this none of this is right none of this should have happened this whole nightmare never should have happened the weirdest part was i mean he kept talking you know about our golden future together he wanted to stay here forever he wanted to totally give up the senate yeah i'm sure he believed every single word every single lie so the point is i just i knew i had to completely get out of there and i couldn't confide in anyone i mean he had my mother totally convinced that this was all for my own good i couldn't get her to believe me. well she does know you mean you've already seen her? Yeah, well, where, the first where, thing where? I, went, I went to the hospital the first thing. She, um, she's really worried about you. Ryan, I could not trust her. Okay, well, she knows what Grant has been doing now. This whole time with Grant, you know, it was one of the worst things I've ever been through. Worse even than when we thought we were dying in the cave? When we were in the cave and we thought we were dying, we knew we had each other. And that made even dying seem somehow bearable. I... But this time with Grant, I mean, living like this, I mean, it would have been like being dead for well, the rest of my life. You're not, Vicky. Right? You're alive. You're okay. He tries to control well, everything. Well, he's not going to control anything anymore. It's over. He told me something else while I was in the hospital, and I know he he told me that you and he swore that you were never going to talk about it, but I just want you to know it doesn't make any difference. What? What doesn't make any difference? He told me that you shot me. You know, I really think that this could be hormones. Oh! No, 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 hear me out. The book says that on Jesus. a downward swing, they can create intense feelings, no, and on a downward swing, no, violence. You even. are about to connect with my downward swing. Okay, all right, truce. Truce. I obviously had no idea that this would upset you so much. Tell me what to do. Well, first of all, you can stop invoking my hormones every time we have a disagreement. Done. And I will also read all the information that you provided for me on... You know, home birth and old wives. Midwives. Right. Oh, Cass, don't you see? Whether or not we have a home birth or a hospital birth doesn't matter as much as how we handle this crisis. What I'd like to know is when did this become a crisis? Cass, we just got married. I don't want us to start off with a gigantic mistake. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Was getting married a mistake? Of course not. And conceiving this child on our honeymoon with more love than most people experience in a thousand lifetimes, was that a mistake? No. Okay. I'd say we're off to a pretty decent start. There's yeah. no reason for us to go astray now. Yeah, as long as we follow your route. <laughs> Since when have I ever been able to change your mind about anything that you believe in with all your heart, huh? Hey, you got that right. I mean, this is my body we're talking about here. Which happens to be housing our child. But I'm the one willing to be doing all the pushing and screaming. Believe me, I think we both are. I mean, this is a joint effort, remember? And I don't mean just the fun parts. I know what you mean. What about my morning sickness? That's no picnic. And now I've got this craving for saltines and herring. Well, you would chew something fishy. And what about when I lie by your belly every night and, 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 and sing my two best girls to sleep? Cass, I gotta tell you, Bibapalula didn't do a whole lot to put either one of us to sleep last okay, night. Okay, no Elvis tonight. Maybe we'll try John Lennon or 
I'll do requests. Look, I'm just doing the best I can, you know? But to tell you the truth, this is an unfair arrangement. I mean, here I am, I'm taller, I'm stronger, I'm definitely hairier now, and yet you're the one who gets to carry around this baby for nine months, you know? <laughs> you're really serious about what? this, aren't you? I mean, this is a genuine case of womb envy. This oh, is that's one ridiculous. Get out of here. It explains an awful lot. Like what? Like, 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 why were you late for dinner tonight? What is that? I mean, you said you were going to be home early. Is that avoidance? What avoidance? No way. I had to help Rachel. And here she comes Excuse out. Excuse me. Um, phone call for you. It's Billy Cooper. Did he say what he wants? He's on a tear. Oh. Okay. Well, you don't look so good. Are you all right? Oh. Uh, everything is proceeding by the book. I just wish I had written the book. <laughs>